Hey, uh, this is Pokeball35, and welcome back to more Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I was, I saw, like, a YouTube short that's saying you can press the down button, or, like, any button on the controller to, to do this, because sometimes Nintendo games, I used to say, like, press any button to start, and then I said, or, like, now it just says press L and R to start, and I saw a thing that says, oh, you don't need to do that, you can just press any button, but no, you can't. Uh, hey, yeah, this is Pokemon 35 Welcome back to more Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Uh, this is the start of stream number, uh, five of Super Mario Bros. Wonder and what can be, could be, possibly be the finale to this game. This is all being streamed live at twitch.tv slash Pokemon 35 Link in the description down below. If you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do so because I do have a lot to offer. Uh, yep, this is exactly where I need to be. Uh, we were going to be beating the game today. Previously, uh, we went through Fungi Mines. And we can just skedaddle on out of here. And we are going to do the rest of the game. I'm now very scatterbrained because I had that intro thought. But we are here. We have beaten Fungi Mines. And we are going back through Petal Isles. And we are going this way. It's very dark over here. Uh, before we continue, though... I have my, I'm going to show a Mario related thing. I have three of them. I'm only going to do one now and I'll do others throughout the stream. This is going to be a very, very quick one. Uh, if I go full cam here, it's going to be a very quick one. Very quick explanation. This thing. You might be wondering what the hell am I looking at? Uh, this is something that I made. Uh, in school. Uh, I had a ceramics class in high school, and I have a handful of random ceramics things. And I just kind of put stuff together and made this. What this was supposed to be is, I think, like a mushroom coming out of a question block. But I, like, forgot to make the stem, and then I just committed. So this is a question mark block with, like, a mushroom, like, halfway out of it. And it looks really dumb. But I still like it, and it's cool. It's, you know, carved on all sides, and it's like this, and stuff. And you can, uh, see my initials in the number two. I don't remember what the number two was for, but my initials are on the bottom of it. And that's what this is. So, I'm gonna put this back here, and you'll just see that. And it's not, if you look at it from back here, it's not a penis. It's not anything, it's not anything panicular of any kind. It is just a mushroom coming out of a question block. So, let's actually continue. Uh, we have a new badge, Boosting Spin Jump. I haven't used the Spin Jump as much as I've wanted to in this game. Uh, while in midair, press R or shake the controller to gain a little extra altitude. Oh, that's nice. Now it's, now it's actually just Mario Galaxy. Really? There we go. Oh, that's awesome, though. I missed one somehow. Oh, it's probably I have to. Okay. Well, we're off to a great start. I think I had to stand on the pipe so it moved the other pipe. That way it would have given me the 10 coin. <laughs> so hold on. These challenge levels have so many amazing ideas, and I just want a Mario game that's just these. Like, just these platforming challenges. Okay, well, no, it's just this. Is this the thing? There we go. It spins these all around, that's funny. Because I will stand on these. Jump. 
See, this will actually make me use the spin jump more. I'll keep it on for now so I use it, but I still think crouching high jump is awesome. But with this, I could probably gain as much height with crouching high jump, just with more effort, because I have to gain enough speed. I will wear it. Uh, over here is probably where we enter the final world from. Uh, next we have Muncher Fields. We have to get, get to see some dick clams. That's what Vinny Vine Sauce calls them, and now I can't stop calling them dick clams. Oh, this is interesting. You get to see Castle Bowser in the background. Because this is that, that's where it takes place. How is this game so good? How do they keep doing it? I like that when you're in the background. Look at him go. <laughs> Look at me go. <laughs> actually, actually, wait. With this, I can go up there and get that. I can go. I can go down here for some sort of reason. Like, that's the reason. And I see that pipe there. There we go. Oh, we need to go back a bit. Oh, nice. Convenient. What if I go this way? Uh, there's a checkpoint over here. Uh, we are going to hope that I didn't miss a thing. See, now there's the actual little uh, munchers. <coughs> and we have the watermelon piranhas. Apparently these are from... Yoshi's Island, of all things. I can feel the power. Please bounce this way. Yeah? What's like a crab? I don't like it, the fact that it's a crab. Well, I like the silhouette stuff. I don't like the fact that this is a crab. We have to find out if this takes me down in the void. Even the background is moving. Wait a second. Okay, that's where the piranha was coming out of. Oh, they put me in the background. All right. Guess I'm back here. I feel like I'm missing something. There's the Wonder Seed. Please don't tell me I'm missing anything. And the platform, the platform stays where it was. I just have a strange feeling. about where the last 10 coin is. Oh. 
Hold on. No. Let me get enough speed. No. Uh. There is a pipe that goes this way. Can I go in this? No. Now wait just a darn second. <laughs> Aha! That's an interesting place to put that. I don't even want to use this. Use it as a platform. Alright, good. First level of the day down. <laughs> the atmosphere was great, and I think it's really dope that they have Castle Bowser in the background, and I'm really wondering that after you beat the game, if you'll come back here, uh, if he's not in the background anymore. Alright, our final location. Uh, KO Arena, Pedal Metal. Uh, I'll probably keep Fire Flower for this. <coughs> I just have two Fire Flowers. The cheap cheeps can be beached. Get him, get, get him, get him. I don't need to be spending 30 seconds on killing cheap cheeps here, game. I don't feel like I'm getting the, uh, the good good first try here. These guys I have to, uh, ground pound on anyway. I don't know if I can... There. I don't know if you can fire flower them, I don't remember trying. Uh, but I definitely have to ground pound them if I'm just basic Mario. Uh, please tell me it's under 80 seconds. <laughs> oh, perfect. By th three seconds. A Wiggler Race Spelunking. <laughs> you know what? I will put on the Jet Run badge. I never use it. We'll see if this messes with everything. <laughs> uh. Goomba! Wow, With Jet Run, you can just run across that. Turning on a dime here. Nope, screw you.
Without a care in the world. I do think these race levels are very interesting. That is my commentary for the race levels. Uh, this takes me all the way back full circle. What does that do? We did it! We won the race! And Wiggler even celebrated our victory by giving us a wonder seed. Rivals turned friends. Racing is amazing! What's this for? Special world. Oh, there's a special world entrance for clearing petal isles. I didn't expect that, actually. Huh. Well, uh, petal isle special way of the Goomba. Let me get off of this. Probably whatever badge I have is not gonna matter. See you later. The womps, huh? This is gonna be great. Oh, but we get these swamps as platforms here. So, short story to talk about, because it goes nowhere. The story goes is that the other day, uh, I was about to go to sleep, it was like 6 a.m. Because I go to bed very late because I'm always up, uh, working on videos, playing Splatoon, or both. And I saw a tweet from, uh, Wario64, who is someone I am following who does or her, like, tweets about, like, when stuff goes on sale. <laughs> and he had tweeted out that the, uh, the new, bun like, Switch OLED bundle... Oh, no. oh, cool. How am I supposed to go past that? I can't run that fast. I was literally going as fast as possible. Okay. <laughs> there, there was a Switch OLED bundle, uh, that came out last year. Uh, for, like, Mario. Uh, there's really not much else to that. It just, there was a Switch bundle that was, like, Mario. It had Mario stuff. Uh, and I think it was a Black Friday thing. Long story short, it was up on Amazon, but the Amazon listing was wrong. And the Amazon listing had the entire Switch OLED for one cent on Amazon, and everyone was jumping on that. We are like, we have to buy every stock. I clicked just one cent and bought one, but I heard some people saying they were trying to get like 30 of them. Uh, it took like a day and a half, but I did get a response. I don't want to be down here. I did get a response from Amazon about my order, saying that my order was wrong and canceled. So I'm sadly not getting the one cent Nintendo Switch OLED. I'm already playing on a Switch OLED. Having another one would be funny though. <laughs> I was li literally jumping though. There we go. Oh, because we're in wonder effect mode. These guys spew bubbles. Oh, this is fucked. This is so fucked, dude! What do you mean? Okay. Okay. Bro. The Wonder Seas are right there.
Okay. I didn't think I was gonna get up. I really didn't think I was gonna get up. I'm not risking anything. I'm getting, getting a fire flower right now. Okay. They want me to jump off of a Goomba to hit the top of the flag? No thank you. I'm doing this. Toodaloo. You gotta turn yourself into a Goomba. Hold on. I have to play it. I referenced it last time. Frickin' dropped my Joy-Con. It's a... It's a very important message anyway. Uh, desktop. Holy cannoli, kids! I'm Mario, and I'm telling you, if you're not watching the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, you're gonna turn into a Goomba! It's a very important public service announcement. You must be watching the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. I should actually show- put this on screen, too. Why haven't I thought of this? Like, this is perfect. Hold on. Uh... Yeah, why don't I have these on screen? There we go. All of this is going on screen. Uh, here it is. Uh, the entire complete series of the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. Uh, Volume 1 and Volume 2. I cannot tell you how many times I have watched every single episode of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Because I have watched so many of every episode of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. And just to show you, I like Volume 1 because it comes in this fold-out thing that has all the discs in it. And then Volume 2 is a little bit lame. Where it just has each thing inside a case, inside its own individual plastic case that you then have to open, and it has the disc inside. Uh, what is cool about this, though, is that it does have- I'll go full cam for this, actually. This is something that people maybe have not seen before. Uh, it has, uh, sketches of the characters inside each case. Should probably remove the disc so you can see some of the other ones, but there's Luigi, which Luigi goes in a, in a red disc for some reason, and Mario goes into a yellow one, and Peach goes, or Toadstool goes into a green one. You can see some of that. And then King Koopa. Oh, I absolutely- I love the classic King Koopa voice. It is so good. But, like, each of these discs only has six episodes. I mean, some of them have bonus features. But, like, each disc has, like, six episodes, and then there's bonus features. So there's that. Uh, it's has seen better days for how much I have used these. These are going in the background, too. I don't even know if I'll have enough, uh, enough place to put all of this other stuff that I want on screen. Can I even get that to stay? There you go, the Super Mario Bros. Super Show, with the other one having a lot of glare on it. Uh, the other thing I won't have in the background, because it's not, it's related, but not, uh, this is the complete, uh, The Legend of Zelda series. The Excuse Me Princess comes from this show. And in, like, every single episode of the... How do I open this? Uh, in every single episode of the Super Show, they would, uh, advertise the next upcoming episode of The Legend of Zelda. Uh, this is the complete The Legend of Zelda set. Comes in three discs, the whole Triforce. Uh... It tells me all the episodes. There's really not a lot of episodes of this show. Um... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's, there's 13 episodes of this show. And I've seen all of them many times as well. Uh, but this is uh, the complete 
Legend of Zelda series. Uh, and we're good. Alright. Uh, we still need to do one more of these to get the other thing. So we can just back on out of here. What I am curious about is if this is if this counts as another world, have I now 100 percent of it? <laughs> this is vibrating. Yes. Um, it does not say I have 100 percent in Petal Isles. Because did I not go back and get the last 10 coin in the Dolphin Kick Challenge? I could have sworn that I did that. Oh wait, no, this is a completely different dolphin kick challenge. Never mind, I don't know what this is. Uh, actually, where is the last coin? I don't think I ever paid attention to where that was. Uh, over here in the in the bottom right hand corner, apparently. How did I just? How did I just not? <laughs> All right, well there we go. Now it should count that I. Uh, 100%ed Petal Isles, unless there's a secret level I'm missing. Thank you. It would be nice to have this all cleared out. Uh, no. What else am I missing? Alright, well, I'm being told not to worry about it. I don't know. I guess that happens later or something. We get to go into the volcano now. Deep magma bog. Our final main world. <laughs> Look at all this magma. This place this is so fun. I bet Dad's gonna get bored of sitting around building up wonder power. Maybe I can make the magma go boom, kind of like fireworks. Then he wouldn't be so bored. <laughs> Deep magma bog. We made it to Deep Magma Bog! This underground bog goes much deeper than you'd think, and the magma spreads everywhere. There are poplins throughout the bog who study the conditions in, the, uh, in this incredible palace. Let's go see, uh, go to the nearest uh, observatory and see if they know anything about the royal seed here. <laughs> Which is just right here. All guests are required to pull that handle. Go. I could have probably just jumped up there. Help, help. We need your help, Prince. Strange things have started to happen in Deep Magma Bog ever since someone attacked the palace here. The magma's getting hotter and hotter. The bog's ivy is feeding off the heat, growing out of control, getting scragglier and scragglier. We're in serious danger. That darn Bowser Jr. must be causing more trouble. I bet the royal seed is inside the palace with him. Please take back our palace, Prince, and save Deep Magma Bog. Here's a wonder seed, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else up here? One coin, two coin. It really does go all the way down. Ghosts! You know what? I've been meaning to turn on the online again. I didn't do it in the entire last stream because I forgot several times. <laughs> so we will do this for a moment. There will be ghosts in your living room. It's not Halloween anymore, it's not. Never too late to have ghosts in your living room, though. Hmm. 
feel like there's supposed to be something here. There is. I do this. I don't. Okay, never mind. What if we drill, though? Come on. Wait. No. Ish. This, this is a weird one. You can use the drill to get that. Uh, I can use bubble for something. Not that. I have to kill the cheap cheaps for this one. Oh, it's a mirror on the opposite side. That one does make sense. Then there's two more, which seem to be down here. Can you drill through semi-solid platforms? No. You can't drill through semi-solid platforms. Um... Just seeing if I need to be pushing these pipes, and I don't. Is this really not the solution here? Uh, can I drill past this? I can go underneath it. I don't quite get it since I can't drill into the wall. I don't... I do not understand what the game is asking of me. It was up in the corner. It was like up here. I see it, 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 I see it. Hold up. We can ground pound into this and go into the wall. I can't leave without the platform. Okay. Then, this feels like it's supposed to be the easiest, and it's not. That's not how that works. Can't drill into this. That person just moved through the area. Then... Do you break these blocks? Do I kick this thing the other direction? Why? There's no indicator to break those blocks with that. Okay. Sure. 
I mean, if I didn't kick it the other direction, I would have kicked it the other direction eventually, but, like, there was literally no indication to break those blocks like that. <laughs> Uh, can't access the palace since there's another palace up here and we have to keep going deeper. <laughs> can't reach my friend because this boulder's blocking the way. Only had so 50 flower coins to break this. Like being dried out. At least the boulder is kaput. I could probably get in touch with my friend now. Here we, go. we have floating high jump too. Oh, no, floating high jump. This is not the other thing. It's this. I misremembered what thing it was. Well, I cheated anyway. That's the first one. Mushroom, it's fine. I cheated. Yay! Cheating has never felt so good. Thank you, Sasha. You have the pleasure of being in a Pokeball 35 video. You will never know who I am and never watch this video. Not where. I am good. You have another observatory room. When are we gonna get to a level? Prince, I'm amazed. You made it through all the ivy. Can you believe how super scraggly it's gotten? It's scraggly, all right. We can barely see you through all that stuff. Almost got lost. That's a straight path. The magma isn't normal. The ivy is scraggly. It's all very strange. I found something tangled up in the ivy. You can have it. I want to talk about some other stuff, but I haven't had a moment to talk about it because we've just been doing really short things. You can go here, and this is where I can go. Okay. Where the rumbas rule. Where the wild things are. <laughs> nice. Oh, I know exactly what's going to be in this level. I can't believe it's taken us this long to get to this level. This is a, uh, in the, one of the trailers. Also, this is much like Mario Galaxy, where you have to hit the, uh, hit the face to kill. Except, like, I guess we could also be Drill. That's fine, too. Killed it. Can we just break this then? No. Oh, we can do that though. That works. I was gonna try and get like a bowler to get up here and then smash through this. No. I'm now being distracted by the level, so I can't talk about what I want to talk about. Screw you. What I want to talk about. Uh, 
just yesterday at the time of this stream, we got the trailer for the third, or the, the third wave for this year, the final wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass, which would be wave six. I need to get this to go the other direction. Okay. And uh, we do now have all the details. There's a secret up here. Hi. That's number two. And uh, we do have info on all the courses. And there's a, a handful of tour tracks looks that I have uh, never played before. There's a secret up here, too. Oh, you're clever. I can push these. Oh, dominoes. Nice. This has to be a secret exit. Yep. Nice. Uh, there was a handful of tour tracks that I've never played because I stopped playing Mario Kart Tour, so I will be excited to play those. Uh, we do have DK Mountain from Mario Kart Double Dash that I'm very happy about because it's Mario Kart Double Dash, and anytime I get to play Mario Kart Double Dash tracks, the better. Um, Rosalina's Ice World is there, which was something that I had predicted. I don't know if it, if I talked about it in the the last Booster Course Pass video. I did have some like predictions of what I wanted, <laughs> but I did have a prediction of Rosalina's Ice World. I because I remember saying that at some point, and I don't know if it was in the video or not. Oh, this is how you're supposed to do this. These are, you just domino effect it and then go down. <laughs> but I predicted Rosalina's Ice World because um, last year we had Merry Mountain uh, for Mario Kart Tour, which is a winter themed track. And it just made sense to have the other winter themed track of Rosalina's Ice World. So I'm kind of happy with that. While playing Tour, uh, when I used to play Tour, I would, like, Rosalina's Ice World is in that game. So I was listening to the music a lot for Rosalina's Ice World. That's probably one of my favorite. Uh, it's good. I just, like, oh, wait, no, I didn't get it. Good. <laughs> it was just actual slopes like Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, I need to get this to go the other direction. Damn, wait, I can do this, though. I like these domino blocks. <laughs> so I was expecting Rosalie's Ice World because it's a winter-themed track. It's releasing in, like, a week from this stream. I need to do the dominoes. We can just do that. <laughs> hard, hard to place this stuff down. I need that. I need that. So this is the ball one, right? I am ball. Nice. Roll, roll, roll. He said the thing. There is a handful of of uh, Mario Kart tracks I still would have loved to see. I still would have loved to see for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This just saves stuff for retro tracks for the next Mario Kart game. But like, DS Airship Fortress was in Mario Kart Tour. And that's not in Mario Kart 8 now. Uh, Dino Dino Jungle was something that's in Mario Kart Tour. Okay, yeah, we're good. And I didn't, and I wanted to play that in Mario Kart 8, that's not there. Apparently, there was a there's a there's a track called Piranha Plant Cove. Nice cock. There's a, a track called Piranha Plant Cove in this new DLC. 
But apparently there's also a track called Piranha Plant Pipeline, which people were complaining about not being in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, because apparently Piranha Plant Pipeline is the only Mario Kart Tour made track that is not in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe now. Like, they could have ported over every single Mario Kart Tour track. Instead, they left one out. Which feels really weird. We, we have one more boosting spin jump challenge. This is what I've been using. I am excited to play the new DLC, and you can expect to, you know, see me stream it, and if you miss me having my first time reaction to the, um, to the tracks, uh, I have a whole playlist of the Booster Course Pass on YouTube, if you want to see me with my first time reaction to any of that. Many people also complain about getting too many tour tracks in each wave, that too. But, uh, it was confirmed a little bit ago that Mario Kart Tour is ceasing updates, and they're just repeating old content now. So there's no more new tracks for them to port, which is really funny. Because they just had this booster course pass to add these tour tracks. And now, <laughs> Mario Kart Tour was released and died before Mario Kart 8, which is a 2013 game, I believe. It's kind of wild how that even happened. But all these tracks not getting- other tracks that they remastered for Mario Kart Tour not getting ported over to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, that just means it's more content for the next game. 